It's a good morning. Today's the day Black Pony's going to get the fire out. So I got everything all done with the engine on the top. Got everything all pieced together. Don't have any extra parts yet. That's good. Um, so I need to drop it down. And, you know, I got a big oil mess underneath. And I got to get up underneath there. I got to install the, the oil pump and all that stuff. Put all that in there. And I don't feel like crawling around in the oil down there. So I'm actually dropping it down. And I got the wheels turned. I had the wheel off so I could get in there easier. And um, I'm going to drop it on down and put some air into the truck and just push it back and get it out of this oil mess. And then I'll be crawling underneath there and doing oil pump and all that stuff. And we'll be good to go. All right, guys, we got the wheel all torqued on. And we need to move this truck on over. We could use a forklift or something, but you know what? I think uh, let's do it for strength. Tracy's got me all in this drive, supposed to give me energy and everything, right? Yeah, we're doing our drive shakes this morning. Hmm. Let's see. Side, that drive is really working for me. Um, I actually, I, the scale that we did that weigh in with, we're sitting on top of there. This morning I looked at it and I went, somebody made a comment on a video I did <coughs> about this, the first one. And right in the beginning I showed a current video of me, kind of introducing that this is older videos and you'll be playing of catch up so won't be confused. I actually, uh, somebody made a comment, boy, you're really looking thin. I actually weighed myself. I was 203 pounds. It's pretty good, guys. It's about 40, I'm about 40, 45 pounds, I think it is. Something like that, I lost. My goal was 190. I'm pretty happy with this, what I got going on. I don't have a gut anymore. Pretty much got flat. But I could use a little bit more. I'd like to get a little bit leaner. So, if I get, if I get to 190, that's what I graduated high school at. All right, guys, we're going to throw this oil pump into here. And um, we've got a brand new oil pump. You can see it right there. And you can kind of see those little guide pins on there. There's one on each side. <clears throat> it's pretty easy. They fit right up into here. And you can see there's a larger hole right here on this side and one over there. They just sit up in those guide pins. There's two bolts on this side, one over on the other side. And um, you just... Um, it meshes up with the main gear right there on the crankshaft onto the oil pump gear. And you just mesh that up pretty easy. Put three bolts in it and just torque it up. It's like a 25 foot pound. So, so I'm going to throw this in there. I don't think I can, I can hold the camera and see up in there like this. So, I can also take this off too. I think about that. But, um,. So I'm done cranking the engine over, so I'm going to throw this up in there and then put the rest of the oil pump together. Three, two, one. Alright, um, 
put in the oil pump, it's in the bottom of the truck. So now these are the, the tubes. Uh, these tubes get punched into the, into the oil pump, they just sit up in there, and then there's a pickup part that sits up in here and they just get pressed in. They got O-rings in each end. And a lot of times on these trucks, if you start to get lower oil pressure, if your oil pressure is not quite high, uh, this is the first thing to check. These O-rings, they get, they get hard and stuff like that, and they actually start to leak. And when that happens, the oil flow that goes through here, that's, that goes through this, it actually leaks out. You don't get all your oil pressure. And so you'll end up having to replace just these O-rings. That's like a first step. If you have like oil, low oil pressure, you drop an oil pan, change out these O-rings, and uh, right here, put new O-rings in there. They're soft, you know, rubber, and they'll give you a good seal, and then try the truck again and see if you have, get your oil pressure back. Keep it. If it doesn't, you know, then you could be, you know, bearings, you know, the actual pump itself, there's other things to go to. Done. Two tubes, a little bit smaller one and a bigger one. There we go. Just want to make sure the flat side is down on these rings. There's a flat side and a round side. And then um, I usually put a little bit of oil on them and then go up underneath there and I'll put them into the oil pump and then take a softer hammer. You can use a rubber hammer. This is plastic. It's a dead bull. And you just sit there and tap on the end and it'll actually go right up inside there. And then the pickup tube gets mounted on the front of the block, and those get tapped in there too, and that seals up. And then there's some bolt for the pickup tube. We, and you should replace the pickup tube. It has a screen, to, a screen through it. And, it's, and uh, so whenever you do this, you should just replace them. Um, it's a few hundred dollars for it, and just do it. So, um, so I'm going to punch this all together, and uh, do this, and then I can throw the oil pan up in there. Here's our new pickup tube. And uh, you can see there's a seal right here. I'll just put a little bit of oil on there. And then that's where your tubes go from your pump. So it sucks it all up, goes to your pump. Excess comes back. So pretty simple. It's got the bolts all preset in there. So I already got the tubes all punched up in there, so now I just put this up in there and um, bolt it up and away we go. All right guys, a little tip. Um, put one of these oil pans in there. Jack the frame up. If you don't jack the frame up, you won't have the room out and you'll wedge the, that uh, oil pan up in there and these plastic oil pans, they'll break them and chip them and everything else. So you gotta jack them up. We got our oil pan all cleaned up, put a new gasket in there. So I'm just going to set it up in there and then I'll lower the truck back down. Right, there we go. Got our oil pan up in there. And uh, it's got four bolts holding it for right now. i got to clean all the other bolts up. We're not putting new bolts in. I know some people say you should. I don't drop a wheel right in my mouth. Some people say you should put all new bolts in it because you got these rubber deals on a seal. They're fine. But, um, so uh, I'm going to put the rest of the bolts in there. And then you torque them up in a, uh, torque them up 33 foot pounds. And what you do is you start with the corners and you go to each corner and then, um, you basically go back and you just go around all the way around them. And it's 33 foot pounds. I guess today is not going to be the day that we are going to be firing up the black pony. Uh, I guess I the boss needed my help and I was actually supposed to do a load yesterday. And Uh, that's what he was saying when I got here. 
And I'm like, ah, I don't think it's going to be done, but whatever. And then he realized it wasn't going to be done, so then he turned around and um, I guess what he did is he had another driver drop this load. And he had him drop this load and then he... Um, Up here and it's going to Allentown and uh, it's supposed to go deliver this and then uh, pick up a load in Allentown and bring it back down to Frederick tonight but I guess he uh, had the other driver do the load yesterday that's that's why I'm having to do this because he had him do the load I was supposed to do yesterday so so we're not gonna get it we're close we're almost we're there a couple hours uh final stuff and then we'll be firing up the black pony just connecting hoses and filling fluids and turning the key but just not today hey guys we are up here in allentown We're up here in Allentown and it's time to see if we can make this here delivery. I was appreciative of that guy giving me a bunch of room, but I didn't need it. Spice washer fluid. Did you see that sign? It says we have pumpkin spice washer fluid at the gas station. Okay. Didn't know you needed a flavor for a washer fluid.
guys here. I gotta wait for the yard guy. You gotta sit here and you gotta wait for the yard guy to show up. Right there's his truck, but I don't know where he is. That guy's from Wisconsin. But you gotta sit here and uh, wait for the yard guy to come out and he's gotta write down your temp, your seal and all that stuff. Wow, guys, that was horrific. Woohoo! Three, uh, three and a half hours. I sat over two hours out there. Because I told you guys when I, you have to just sit there and wait for the yard guy to come there. I sat over two hours. The guy just kept driving past me. Every time he'd come near me, I'd grab my paperwork, open my door, and he'd just drive right past me. I finally, I had enough. I went in there and kind of, kind of lit the lady up behind the counter, and she's all, Ooh, she called her supervisor, and the supervisor came out there, and he checked me in, and I just asked him, I'm like, what am I doing wrong here? I'm sitting out here, just like she told me. I'm waiting for this guy to check me in. He just keeps driving by me. I've been here for over two hours. He goes, you've been in this spot for over two hours. I said, yes. What in the world is going on, he goes. And so he goes in there and he's talking to this lady. This lady gave him the most evil eye you've ever seen because he was asking her questions on what is going on, why is this truck driver just sitting out there for two hours? I couldn't believe it. And then finally he got tired of it too and he's like, why are you looking at me like that? And she just sat there staring at him and wouldn't answer him. And finally, he walked around the counter and went back there, and he just got all up in her face about it. And she's like, I have no control over that guy out there. I don't even talk to him. Why are you yelling at me about it? And he's like, you know, we kind of need to work together to get this stuff done. <laughs> and they kind of went at it a little bit. And then they finally, they, they uh, put me into a door. And they came out there and unloaded me in 10 minutes. 15 minutes, half an hour. I don't know what it would have been. Not that long. And then, then I pull back around there. And then I just sit there and wait for her to call me again with the paperwork. <laughs> that was crazy. The thing is, I was really the only truck there. There was another truck that came in there and all he did is drop the trailer. So there was nothing going on there. <sighs> Crazy, crazy stuff. Now I need to run on over to Americold and get all loaded. Head on back to Frederick. Well, guys, we got loaded up in Americold and we are down here in Frederick, Maryland. The Aldi's. Look at that truck. I gotta say, that is the most weirdest combination of lights I think I've ever seen. no pattern to it whatsoever. It's just weird. <laughs> I mean, how would the DOT know if there's a light burnt out? <laughs> it's just weird. Some flash, some don't. Given a door, and it's time to back on in. It's gonna come back out. I'm gonna go quick. He's messing around. into a door and we'll get some shut eye. Whoa, settle down there, Buckwheat. I get the last door. This is usually where this load goes to. It's 
one of the last like three doors you get. So basically what you do is just, you go and open up your door, throw the paperwork in the back and go to sleep. So I hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day, great night. So watch this here video. If you're not, certainly try that all over again tomorrow. See ya.